Well, in the next month, we might start seeing some progress if ALDOT's current plan takes off. The state wants to repair hundreds of lights on the interstate in Birmingham before the World Games comes to, uh, come to town this summer. But we've heard promises of fixes last year, and we're still waiting for them months later, leading us to shine a light on the delay. Cruising Jefferson County interstates, it does not take long to notice something's missing. Light. Hundreds and hundreds of busted street lamps leaving drivers in the dark. We've got to get this done. This is important. And it is a issue that cannot continue. Last spring, we shined a light on the lack of interstate illumination. Based on our non-official survey, we've uncovered nearly 1,000 lamps are out. At the time, we asked ALDOT's top local engineer about plans for a fix. Are you hopeful that maybe something will be finalized in the next two years? I mean, is that two no, I'm looking for within the next quarter that we will have some type of plan in place. About four months later, Birmingham's Transportation Department did pitch a plan to the City Budget and Finance Committee. They wanted to spend $2 million with Alabama Power to replace nearly 400 of the interstate lamps. The committee voted to recommend it. All in favor say aye. Aye. And I abstain. Um, so our next, and we'll send it to the full council. Yet 135 days later, that plan to fix 391 lights, including this one, has yet to come before the full council, prompting us to try to find out why. When we asked the mayor's office for an explanation, we received a statement from its transportation director. He said they have been working with ALDOT on a long-term solution and that although an agreement between ALDOT and the city has not yet been finalized, the two agencies do believe they have found a path forward. We also sat down with ALDOT's DeJarvis Leonard again. He claimed between Birmingham, surrounding cities, Alabama Power, and the state, red tape has slowed his hopes for the project. Through all those different groups, it, it's, it's just taken longer to maneuver through all those different uh, agencies. Leonard pointed out they have fixed this handful of lights near the Arkadelphia Road exit of I-2059 and now plan to spearhead getting a two-mile section near the Birmingham airport turned back on. Because of uh, the closeness of the World Games coming, that we need to just go ahead and ALDOT's going to take the lead on that section and try to get things moving. A final plan and dependable timeline is forthcoming. Now, there are hundreds of other interstate lights that are not working uh, outside of Birmingham in Jefferson County. And tonight I learned that Alabama Power is working on a contract for each of those other cities to possibly hire the utility to fix the lights in their stretches of interstate. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.